Hello Year 3, Mrs Masuku here. Hope you're all doing well at home. We've got another inquiry lesson for you today. We're on to lesson 13 and we are learning to write a character description of a historical figure. OK, so on your home learning pack, you should have already seen that today you should have watched this video, first of all, before you've watched this, before you're watching this one, um, all about Boudicca. OK, so some of you might know already from having watched that video who she was, why she was an important historical figure. And um, we're going to have a look at, I'm going to share the screen so that we can find out a little bit more about her. OK, so just bear with me while I set up the slideshow. OK, Boudicca. So who was Boudicca? Boudicca was the wife of Prasutagas. OK, so he was the ruler of a Celtic tribe called the Iceni. And you would have seen that if you've watched the video already on YouTube all about her. And the Iceni lived in a region of Britain that's now called East Anglia. You can see here on the map that's been highlighted in red. So we've got a map of England and well, it's the UK at the top. We've got Scotland. We've got a little bit of Northern Ireland that we can see. We can see a bit of Wales, but that kind of yellow bit where you can see all the different lines on it um, showing the different counties, that is England. And the red part is East Anglia and that's where she lived and she was ruling the Iceni. But if you've already watched this video, you'll know that the Romans invaded. So when the Romans settled in the south of England in 43 AD, they made an agreement with Prasutagus so that he would be able to continue as ruler of the Iceni. So even though the Romans were coming in invading the country, they made an agreement that that red part could still be ruled by him and the Iceni were still going to be British. They weren't going to be overtaken by the Romans. But when he died, the Romans turned on the Iceni. They stole from the Iceni tribesmen. They made people slaves and they had Boudicca's, Boudicca whipped. So they didn't really like her. I wonder what's going to happen now. The rebellion. In about 60 AD, the Roman governor was sent to North Wales to lead an army. But while he was away, Boudicca led an attack against the tribe's Roman rulers with several other tribes. Her army was called the Britons. Can you say that? I'll say the Britons. You say it? The Britons. Good. So that was the army that was fighting back against the Romans. And they managed to destroy the capital of Roman Britain and defeated, so won, against some of the Romans. Well, indeed, the Romans were not happy at all about this. They wanted to find Boudicca and put an end to her rebellion. They were thinking, who is this woman that wants to fight against us? We want to take over the country. We want to take over the Iceni, this red part on the map. We want to rule it. And this lady, Boudicca, thinks that she can fight against us. Well, I don't really like her. That's what the Romans were thinking. People believe that over 70,000 people were killed in some of the attacks by the Britons. But their leader, we've met her already, Boudicca, she was a strong, determined fighter. So she tried her best and there were lots and lots of battles, and but she did do her best. And a lot of the time, the Britons were winning. But alas, she and the Britons were defeated so they meant that they lost the battle. They lost in the end. If you're defeated, it means that you lose. The Roman army regrouped in the Midlands and finally defeated the Britons in the Battle of Watling Street. But no one really knows what happened to Boudicca. Some say that she killed herself when she knew the Romans had defeated her. Others say she fell ill and died. But we know that in the end, the Romans won, which is a real shame for Boudicca, but she was strong for many, many years. 
and that's why her story is still known today. So the legend of Boudicca is still told today and here we've got a quote. So this is what she said once. I was whipped by the Romans when they tried to take our lands and now I am fighting for my freedom. Think how many of us are fighting and why? We must win this battle or die. Let the men live as slaves if they want. I will not. So she was determined to do her best to fight for her country when it was being invaded by the Romans. And Boudicca is a heroine because she achieved a lot and she fought for her country, for her people and for herself. Even though she lost the final battle, she never let the Romans conquer her. She said, oh, you might want to just let to live as a slave and do what they tell us, but I'm not going to do it. She did her best to fight for her country. And that's why her legend lives on. And here we've got a bit of a description of her. And they said, she was very tall. She looked terrifying with a fierce glint in her eye. Her voice was harsh, a great mass of startling bright yellowish red hair hung down to her hips. Around her neck, she had a huge torque of gold. She wore a dress of many colours with a thin cloak over it pinned together with a brooch. You can see there, just on her neck, that's the brooch that's pinning her cape together, her cloak. OK, so we've been learning about Boudicca and here we've got a description of her. And if you can remember what our Walt is today, we're learning to write a description. So here on this slide, if you want to pause it now, you can write down some ideas for your description. Don't start writing it yet, but you could think of some ideas. How would you describe her? These are all pictures of her or um, they're not photos because we know that that long ago, almost 2000 years ago, this was there weren't cameras. So they're paintings and they're images of what people think she looked like from the description that was written about her many, many years ago. So you can see in all of these pictures they've got in common, she's got that red, fiery red hair that's really long. In some of the pictures she's got like a spear, she's a fighter. In one of the images, she's wearing a crown. She must have been really important. In that very first image, it looks like she's riding a horse and she's blowing a horn. She really was a fighter, wasn't she? So having a look at the pictures that you can see, you are going to create a wanted poster. So you should have this in your learning pack. It's a poster saying wanted on the top. And you need to pretend that you are a Roman soldier searching for Boudicca. She has made you angry because she's fighting against you and you want to find her. OK, so you need to draw a picture of her and write a description of her so that people searching for her knows what she looks like. OK, so I'll just recap again. You are going to create a poster. You are a Roman soldier that's fighting against Boudicca and you want to find her and you want to fight her and you want to kill her and get rid of her because she's making it very difficult for you to rule the land. So you're going to create a poster and on your poster, you're going to draw a picture of what she looks like and then you're going to describe her. OK. Now, I have got an example of the kind of thing that I want. Remember, your job is to create a wanted poster about Boudicca. You're a Roman soldier searching for Boudicca. But I've done a wanted poster about somebody else that we all know. Just to give you an example. Here's my wanted poster about Mr Matthews. OK, so what I've got is I've got a picture of him. So you will have a picture of Boudicca. And the name Boudicca is already on your sheet. 
And then I've used my, my English, my knowledge of how to write sentences with capital letters, full stops, to describe him. So what I've said about Mr Matthews is, so imagine um, somebody wants to find Mr Matthews, they've come across this poster up on, up in the park, we're looking for this man, have you seen him? And the description that goes with the picture is, he is a tall, slim man with a golden beard growing neatly on his face. A mop of sand-coloured hair sits upon his head and he is wearing brown rimmed glasses to help him see. He is fit enough to run a thousand daily miles. Have you seen him? So if I was looking for Mr Matthews, I might print out these posters and put them up around the park and say, I'll pay you a hundred pounds. That'll be your reward if you help me find him. So remember, you are going to be drawing a picture of Boudicca and then you're going to be writing a description of what she was like so that people that are looking for her are looking for the right person. If you're saying you're looking for a, a female warrior, are they going to be looking for a, a timid, um, a timid lady or a little girl? No, she's a she's a warrior, isn't she? So I'll just go back to the slide where we've got the description of her. And remember, you can magpie parts of it. You can use some of the ideas, but I want it to be your own character description. So this is what they've said about her. She was very tall. She looked terrifying with a fierce glint in her eye. Her voice was harsh. A great mass of startling bright yellowish red hair hung down to her hips. So are you going to be writing that you're looking for a lady with short hair? Don't think you are. Around her neck, she had a huge torque of gold. She wore a dress of many colours. Are we going to say that she was wearing trousers? That's not what we know about her. A dress of many colours with a thin cloak over it, pinned together with a brooch. OK, so there you have it. You know the tale of Boudicca. And remember, you are a Roman soldier and you put up these posters to help. You've got a description asking people to help you find this woman. What does she look like? What kind of person is she? OK, we can't wait to see your character descriptions. And well done. You've got to the end now of lesson um, 12, I think it is. And um, we can't wait to see your work. Oh, sorry, no, lesson 13. OK, brilliant work, at banana tree and mango tree. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.